Okay, uh, hello my dear students, I hope you guys are fine. So today we are having our science class and in our today's class we will be studying a new lesson that is matter and energy. Okay, so let me go through the lesson. Okay, here we guys can see an activity, eh? your activity so we guys can do it practically as well. Eh? Okay, so take two glasses, let's go through it. Eh? Do it a glass, eh? take two glasses, fill them with water eh? and in one glass add two teaspoon of salt and in other add two teaspoon of sand aina euda ma chai ke rakhni re ta bhanda kheri dui chamcha salt rakhni aina ani arko ma chai dui chamcha sand rakhni aina ani stir the water in both the glasses ani dui tai dui tai glass ma bhayeko water lai chai stir garni gholni majale ma fitni aina ani you will notice that the sand remains as it is where the where is the salt mixes completely with the water and cannot be seen anymore aida बुझ्नु भयो सो यसले के भनेको छ त भन्दाखेरि सल्ट चाहिँ कम्प्लिटली डिजोल्भ हुन्छ गरे मिक्स हुन्छ गरे हैन भनि इन केस अफ सैंड व्हाट हैपेंस इज इट रिमेन्स एज एज इट इज है त सो लेट्स गो टु द नेक्स्ट पेज ओके व्हेन समथिंग डिजोल्व्स और मिक्सेस विद अ लिक्विड वी से इट इज सोल्युबल इन दैट लिक्विड हैन सोल्युबल भनेको के त Bandakiri, when something dissolves in it, you know, when something dissolves in a liquid, that means that substance is soluble in that liquid. Either something when something dissolves or mixes with a liquid, we say it is soluble in that liquid. Hey? And if it does not dissolve in a liquid, we say that it is insoluble in that liquid. Okay. You you line liki one exotabandakiri or a particular liquid sa in a just a pani any example water example oil in a puny bani liquidified form in a uh puny or a particular subject this magar mix on the totally dissolve on the one it like a soluble one in the in a eddy mix within a just a gotta stay runs up on is a it is known as insoluble wasn't well okay so uh in the above activity salt is soluble in water salt is ki bhayo ta tya purai mix bhayo ho that means salt is soluble in water whereas sand is insoluble in water sand chai jasta ko tastai rayo haina that means sand is insoluble in water hai ta ani stone glass plastic wood etc are insoluble in water sugar fruit juice haina etc are soluble in water haina के भयो त भन्दाखेरि स्टोन हैन ग्लास प्लास्टिक वुड एसेट्रा एस्ता खालका सामानहरु चाहिँ के हुन्छ त भन्दाखेरि दोज आर इनसोल्युबल इन वाटर पानीमा मिक्स हुँदैन डिजोल्भ हुँदैन भनी सुगर फ्रूट जूस एसेट्रा एस्ता एस्तो खालको मटेरियल्सहरु चाहिँ के हुन्छ भन्दाखेरि दोज आर सोल्युबल इन वाटर मिक्स हुन्छ वाटरमा है ओके सो नाउ यु नो भनेर चाहिँ फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स यहाँ दिएको छ लेट्स गो थ्रू इट सुगर इज डटरेट इन वाटर अफ कोर्स इट इज सोल्युबल राइट सुगरलाई हामीहरुले मिक्स गर्यौ स्टिर गर्यौ फर अ लङ टाइम देन इट विल डेफिनेटली डिजोल्भ इन वाटर अनि वुड इज डटरेट इन वाटर वुड इज इनसोल्युबल इन वाटर वाटरमा डिजोल्भ हुँदैन हैन त्यहाँ मिक्स हुँदैन वाटरमा ओके सो डू यु नो भनेर चाहिँ अब एउटा इन्ट्रेस्टिङ फ्याक्ट पनि इन्क्लुड गरेको छ लेट मी गो थ्रू इट ओके इफ यु टेक हाफ अ ग्लास अफ वाटर एन्ड एड अ स्पून अफ ऑइल टु इट हैन द ऑइल विल float on the top this is because oil is not soluble in water that means it is insoluble hai oil chai ke huncha bhanda kheri you guys can try it at your home as well hai ek glass ek glass pani linus tes mathi ek chamcha oil oil rakhnu chha haina what happens is that oil does not get mixed in that water mix hudaina ke huncha ta mathi mathi tairincha tyo oil chai hai chuttincha okay so thing that float thing that sink hai aba pani mathi tairine ra pani ma dubne haina aba Let's go through it. Kiki kura ariya include gari kisa. Okay, do you know why ice cubes float in water? Hey, ice cubes kino float unsa the water ma? Do you know that? Okay, ice is less dense than the water and that is why it floats in water. Kiki mudra chita banda. Hey, ice is less dense than water and that is why it floats on water. Any material which is less dense than water will float on it. Hey, but a solid lump of material, you know, such as paper. Paper white, paper wet, or a stone will uh, sink in it because it is denser. Okay, yeah. Ki bane ko ta banda. Hey, dense bane ko kitha. Banda baklo, adhwa firi ekdam compact ke ekke tham ekdam rigid hai na. Just the in case of in case of oil or in case of ice ki bade banda. Hey, those are less denser. Hey, those are less denser than water. Bani in case of stone ki bade banda. Hey, those are more denser than water as a result of which oil floats on water ice floats on water whereas what happens stone dissolves in water it dissolves in water okay so uh, 
density le pani determine garcha and whether that object will float or sink in water right okay uh, so yeah that was it if you throw an object over the water surface it will displace some water you know this water uh, exerts an upward force uh, upward force on the object this upward force is called up thrust or buoyancy bhaneko cha yo chai ke ta bhanda keri tapai euta certain uh, object you know water ma thi water ma tapai le hal dinu bhayo you know phal dinu bhayo bhani what happens is त्यो ले त्यहाँ गएर डिजल्भ हुँदै गर्दा अथवा पानी माथि गएर फ्लोट हुँदै गर्दा त्यसले आफ्नो वेट बराबरको वाटरलाई के गर्छ त माथिपट्टि अपलिफ्ट गर्छ है त्यस त्यो बराबरको पानीलाई के गर्छ त्यसले अपलिफ्ट गर्छ जस्तै यु गाइज माइट हेभ हर्ड एन स्टोरी इज इट तपाईहरूले एउटा एउटा स्टोरी तपाईँले सुन्नु भएको छ होला जुनमा चाहिँ एउटा क्रोले होइन अक्रो युज के त डिफ सानसानो के त पेबल्सहरू युज पेबल्स टु ब्रिङ द वाटर अप द जार होइन जारको माथिपट्टि के त त्यो पानीलाई पानीलाई ल्याउनको लागि ही युज टु थ्रो द ही युज टु पुट द पेबल्स इन द जार होइन त्यो किन त भन्दाखेरि त्यो जुन अमाउन्टको जुन वेटको अथवा जुन भोल्युमको त त्यो मा क्रोले स्टोनहरू त्यहाँभित्र फाल्यो त्यो बराबरको वाटर माथिपट्टि डिस्प्लेस हुँदै गयो माथिपट्टि अपलिफ्ट हुँदै गयो होइन सो त्यही कुरा यहाँ पनि अप्लाई हुन्छ जस्तै यो आइसको जुन जुन भोल्युम छ अथवा फेरि जुन भोल्युम यसको चाहिँ वाटरमा गएर मर्ज हुन्छ होइन त्यो बराबरको वाटर चाहिँ यसले के गर्छ त माथिपट्टि डिस्प्लेस गर्छ माथिपट्टि अपलिफ्ट गर्छ है वी हेभ टु बी क्लियर अबाउट इट ओके लेट मी गो थ्रु इट है इफ यू थ्रो एन अब्जेक्ट over the water surface it will displace some water this water exerts an upward force on the object this upward force is called up thrust or buoyancy hai and if buoyancy is equal to equal to or greater than the weight of the object the object will float on the water hai na otherwise it will sink okay so what we have to be clear is you वाटर ले के गर्छ भन्दाखेरि एउटा सर्टेन अमाउन्ट अफ अपवर्ड अपवर्ड फोर्स एक्जर्ट गर्छ के होइन वाटरले हामीलाई माथितिर पुस गर्न खोज्छ है वेन वी वेन वी डाइभ इन वाटर हामीलाई के गर्छ त वाटरले माथिपट्टि पुस गर्न खोज्छ होइन इफ द्याट त्यो पुस गर्न खोजेको त्यो फोर्सलाई के भन्छ भन्दाखेरि अपथ्रस्ट भन्ने गर्छ है इफ द्याट अपथ्रस्ट इज ग्रेटर द्यान आवर वेट हाम्रो बडी वेट भन्दा बढी त्यो अपथ्रस्ट भयो भने व्हाट ह्यापेन्स इज वी विल फ्लोट ओभर दि वाटर है ओके सो we have to understand that okay if if buoyancy is equal to or greater than the weight of the object then the object will float on the water otherwise it will sink okay so that was it okay steel hey steel is eight steel is about eight times denser than water hai steel bhaneko cha metal hai steel is about eight times denser than water yet huge ships are made of steel hai na and can you guess what would uh, what could be the weight of the ship so how does it float hai na aba ke ta bhanda kheri aba in case of aba agi agi hamle bhani halyo hai na water le water le hamlai exert garne to up thrust hai na hamro weight bhanda ke ta badi bhayo bhani hai na badi bhayo bhani we can float bhanyo but we have seen very very big ships and thulo thulo pani jahaj haru chai pani mathe tairi rako cha haina can you guess haina tyo aba pura metal le baneko huncha haina it it is really heavy isn't it but still we can see those ships floating on the water haina kasari huncha hola ta hai okay let me let, let's go through it the steel is shaped into a cell and a large part of which is under the water this displaces enormous amounts of uh, sea water the up thrust of this water keeps the flo- uh, ship float aba yo kina hudra chha ta bhanda kheri tyo steel le baneko bhaye pani it its shape is different esko elai different way ma shape diyeko huncha hai so that it can displace large amount of water ekdam large amount of water tele ekachuri displace garcha as a result of which it gets more up thrust ajai badi up thrust pauncha jasle garda kheri ke huncha ta that ship can float over the water okay so yeah that was it the up thrust of this water keeps the ship floating hai ani transparent objects transparent objects are those that allow light to travel through them hai aba transparent bhanda bitik what we have to understand is esto halko object jasko through bata light pass garna sakcha hai jasko through light pani pass huncha okay so that those those kind of objects are known as transparent objects we can see clearly through transparent materials and such as क्लियर वाटर है क्लियर वाटर एंड ग्लास है ये क्लियर वाटर और ग्लास को थ्रू अफकोर्स राइट पानी को ग्लास को थ्रू बट लाइट भी पास होना 
ओके ओपेक ऑब्जेक्ट अब आर को ऑब्जेक्ट सर दैट इज ओपेक ऑब्जेक्ट व्हाट इज ओपेक ऑब्जेक्ट ओपेक ऑब्जेक्ट आर दोस व्हिच डू नॉट लेट लाइट टू ट्रैवल थ्रू देम एंड दीस ऑब्जेक्ट्स क्रिएट शैडोज एंड लाइट कैन पास थ्रू ट्रांसपेरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक ग्लास बट कैन नॉट पास थ्रू ओपेक ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक वुड एंड अब ट्रांसपेरेंट र ओपेक ऑब्जेक्ट को वी कैन गेट लॉट्स ऑफ एग्जांपल इज इट जस्ट हमारे घर को नर्मल तो वाल्स है वाल को थ्रू बड़ लाइट पास होता अफकोर्स नट है वाल को थ्रू बड़ लाइट पास होते हैं बट इनकेस अब आवर विंडोज विंडो में जो तो ग्लास तो ग्लास को थ्रू बड़ा लाइट पास होना ओके सो व्हाट वी हेव टू अंडरस्टैंड इज जो अब्जेक्ट जिसको थ्रू बड़ लाइट पास होता दैट इज नोन एज ट्रांसपेरेंट अब्जेक्ट दैट इज नोन एज ट्रांसपेरेंट अब्जेक्ट वेर इज दोज अब्जेक्ट्स विच डू नट लेट द लाइट टू पास थ्रू इट हई तेज थ्रू बड़ लाइट पास होना पाऊदन भी दोज अब्जेक्ट्स आर नोन एज what it is known as opaque object okay so uh, this was it so now we will be studying about a different topic that is wind energy hey eh? so this is it for today guys thank you so much everyone uh, see you in the next class bye bye